One of my favorite functions that I can't live without is Phantom Marks. And I think I discovered it on my own, just hunting through the settings one time. And it's such a cool name, Phantom Marks, you know? <laughs> and I found for me, a lot of the shows that I've worked on are very heavy music shows. And um, we have to do a lot of temp scoring, a lot of trying out needle drops and songs. And we have to replace them really quickly. So I found I most often use Phantom Marks when I'm doing temp scoring. So for instance, I'll have a piece of score in and and I'm not sure it's right, so I want to try something else. So I open up a, a album or a you know a, a movie soundtrack, and I load a score into the source side. And what I can quickly do is just set it in and out on the piece of music in my timeline, and I'll be able to see very quickly um, where that length of music is going to end in the new source that I've chosen. And I can really quickly see what's happening right in that moment in that queue to see if that endpoint is going to be a good endpoint. That's just one way it makes it really fast and efficient to just replace music and know like if that's going to hit in the right points where I need it to. I also use it for swapping out picture as well, like when I don't want to change the length in my timeline of exactly where that, um, that, that picture works because I don't want to have it affect the music, then I can put an alt, um, you know, an alt line in the source side and see if um, it really quickly, if, if it's a slower take, you know, if the, if the actor's saying that line a little bit slower, the phantom mark will show me the out of what's in my timeline so I can tell if what's in the source is going to be too short or too long to fit in that little perfect slot in my timeline. I use it all the time, constantly, can't live without it. I have found it so helpful and I, I, I just, I couldn't imagine doing my job without it. Like it's, 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 I don't even think about it, but I use it like hundreds of times a day. <laughs> you know? It's really, it's really useful. And it's, you can also do it, use it sort of the inverse because the phantom marks will show up on the timeline side as well. So I can set the in and out on the source and then I'll set an in on my timeline and the phantom mark will show me exactly where it's going to end. So you get to measure without having to like drop it in and see if it fits. You know, you can you can see before you cut if it's going to work. That's what, that's what phantom marks do. It's, it's amazing. Phantom marks is one of those beautiful tools that makes editing on an Avid very elegant, very efficient and um, special. <laughs> it's a hidden tool, and again, it's literally a hidden tool. It's called Phantom Marks, but <laughs> but it's 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 something I couldn't I can't do my job without it.